Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to an Adobe update. This was a bullish gap that happened back here just in the middle of September. And this chart has shown amazing strength. Even through the market pullback, this really showed nice strength. It actually came down and just sat snug as a bug in a rug right on this area here. Remember, support and resistance are areas. Came down and could have come down deeper. Didn't do it. Gapped up here yesterday with the market, followed on through, had a huge be beautiful green bar, and is carrying through today like a monster. Over 52 now, and this will make new highs next week, which is will be over 53. And that'll be brand new highs for the stock. So once it gets up over 53, is nothing stopping this. Next target for the swing trade will be 55. Really beautiful show of strength in this chart. So this is a good example of really showing you the trend and how to play the trend. I know when this gap happened back here in September, I think it was the earnings. I don't remember the reason for the gap, actually. It could have been something else. This was back in September 18th, and the stock gapped up and opened at 51.68, and it closed the night before at 48.14. So when you see something like this, you say, gosh, you know, something gaps up $10. It can't possibly, possibly go any higher. But I knew that it was a good bullish gap. I actually called it as a bullish gap in the training room that day and said it was a buy. And one of my traders did it, and he waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and stuck with it. And he got paid. He got paid into the rally up into the close on Adobe this day. And many, many traders got stopped out here thinking this was a fade. It wasn't a novice gap. It was a new buy for people. Now, when this happened here, it retested. I thought it might hold, but then the market pulled in. This beautiful bar here picked itself up and held 50. And when the market pulled in deeper, this came in more. But every time the stock comes in, it's just a buying opportunity now for people to get long this because the stock wants to go higher and it wants to get bought. And how do I know? I know from reading the gaps. Now you say, well, this gap didn't hold. No, but it didn't have to hold. This is actually was not the full first bullish gap in this chart. Jeez, it was not even anywhere near the first bullish gap in this chart. So many nice bullish gaps in this chart. Here's one, even though it went red, this is a good bullish gap. This is a great one here. Look, this one actually held. Beautiful. Here was one here, right there. And this is a very significant one here. Actually, that was December last year, almost a year ago. Look at the move that this chart has had in a year. 37 was the gap. You could have taken this as a swing trade for one year. $37 was the gap that happened back here on December 14th, 2012. And by this December, the stock price point will be up probably around 55. The stock's moved $20 in a year. Incredible strength. So if you understand trends, you understand how to read stock charts like this. Now you might say, well, it had a lot of pivot highs and lower lows and lower highs all along the way in here. And in this area here in the summer, thinking that it wasn't going to make it, or even here, or even here, you could have said in the last couple of days. But the fact is that you cannot determine a stock trend of a chart or the market by looking at pivots. I'm sorry to say there's way more to it than that. And one is there really uh, mostly, mostly gaps. But there's other things, too, that I look at. And this is what I teach in the trends class. So if you were in Adobe and you were long Adobe and you didn't get this last part of this move up in here, you probably are, are wishing that you would, thinking that it wasn't going to go higher. And you see how, again, tops are not entries. Adobe made a top here, but it broke on through it. And some people think tops are shorting places. If the stock is topping, it's not going to go higher. This doesn't have any meaning like that. You, you cannot short tops as entries, just like you can't buy bottoms as uh, entries and stuff that's going up, too. Or, or, or down in either way. So, I mean, as it turns out, this is just beautiful performance here by this. Let's look where the entry was in this this morning. I think it was right out of the gate. Not even doing this now. I mean, this is just too far gone today. Yep, could have bought it immediately out of the open. Look at that. 20 cents stop. But if you had done, it ran up here and it's still the risk reward. So you could have actually got the risk reward out of this and got right out by 945. 20 cents stop with the three arm move immediately. Or you could have held it all the way up to the whole number here to 52. 
beautiful, 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 beautiful entry and a really nice uh, chart in Adobe. So if you're interested in learning how to read trends in stock charts, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The trends class is next week, October 15th and 16th is the fall trends class. If you would like to sign up for this course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. For more information, it's Tuesday and Wednesday from 1 o'clock to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Adobe is a beautiful example of why you would buy this right here in this gap and not short it, it's not a fade, and why this is a beautiful buy every time it dips down and has carried through just amazingly well um, ever since December last year. And this is a good thing to be in because the market's long, and if you want to be in a, in a long-term overnight trade, swing, or core, longs are the thing to do now with the market lifting on through higher, which has been in an uptrend all along. And I actually talk about the market in the class, talk about the uh, gaps in the market, talk about the trend in the market in the, in the trends class. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.